All righty, gang, what it do? I'm fresh off of the day job. And if you guys are anything like me, you probably have to balance full-time job and doing music. If you're gonna do this music, man, music costs money, okay? You have to pay for the studio, you gotta buy production, you gotta freaking pay to get your videos done. You know, it's a lot of money. Everybody wants to rap till they find out how much money it costs to rap, okay? But any whatever, so uh, just the average day for me, man, I get up at 5 a.m. every morning to drive Lyft. Uh, I drive Lyft for a few hours. Lyft is usually like my money that I use to like just to stack up a little bit of bread and to like promote some music. Then I go to work from uh, like 8.45 to 6 p.m., all right? And then get off of work and it's usually time to kick it with Bay or to, you know, work on some, some music stuff or like, man, it's just different because it's like, other people got like an extra eight or ten hours a day that is like, I really don't have. Then on top of that, I'm a father. You know what I mean? I'm not no deadbeat dad neither. Like, I'm a, I'm a father, father. Um, but understand, nobody is going to freaking feel sorry for you or nobody cares really about the grind that you have to put in on a day-to-day. -day. Like, America is extremely results-driven. So they want to know, like, hey, did you get your goals done or not? Did you accomplish what you was trying to accomplish or not? Man, I'm going to tell y'all something crazy, man. I had a, I don't know if I should call them a family member or a former family member. I don't know what, what I should call them. You know, I'm trying not to be messy in this video. But they called me a broke struggle rapper that's mad that they ain't make it. I said, dang, that's, that's crazy. You know what I mean? But that's how people on the outside look at it. You know, until you make it big, you know, they look at it as, uh, you know, you just Joe Schmo. So, look, man, don't become discouraged. If you work in that day job, man, keep on doing it. Like, I think, you know, in today's age and social media, people try to act like you lame if you got a day job. Man, you're not lame, man. You're doing, you doing what you got to do. Keep doing it. Sometimes a day job is very necessary to fund your dreams and to fund your career so that you could get off of that day job. You know what I mean? Most businesses, they take investment money to get started up. All right, well, some of that money may come from a day job. So, man, don't, don't trip, man. Keep hustling. You know, uh, it is hard balancing everything um, sometimes, but, you know, I got dreams and I got aspirations, man. And look, and uh, not only am I just a father, like, I'm a father of a of a special needs child man my son has autism so that comes with a whole different set you know of his own challenges man just to just to make sure that that he's good you know what i mean so don't but see don't nobody care about that stuff because at the end of the day you know people are gonna want to know like did you accomplish your goals that you set to accomplish or did you not, all right? Nobody cares about the sob story, okay, guys? So if you got a nag on 9 to 5 or 12 to 12, 7 to 7, 10 to 6, hey, man, whatever you got, work that job with pride, man, and understand that that paycheck coming in is going to help you get a little closer to your dreams, man, all right? Don't let social media suck you in. Like, nah, keep hustling on that daggone day job. Man, I know a lot of y'all see BFB uh, Pac-Man. Like, it was a BFP Pac-Man. I'm not sure of the initials, but I know I like his daggone music, okay? I went back and I watched a lot of his older videos, man, and it's like he's just now really starting to blow up now, but he has been consistently dropping music for like five years, y'all. And I saw this interview that he had, and uh, he was talking about being a mailman. And he was talking about how him still, to this day, like he's blowing up now actively, he's still a mailman. And he talks about how that day job affords him the opportunity and the resources to be able to invest in his music career uh, like he needs to. This music game costs a lot of money. 
hey, hey, a lot of money. So you got to understand that, man. So keep hustling, man. I appreciate y'all tapping in for me, man. I'm really trying to just build a, a community of a like-minded uh, individuals and artists. And I want you guys to be able to come here, come to this channel, and get free nuggets uh, on a daily basis, or on a weekly basis, a monthly basis. Sometimes I'll be tripping, right? But if you go back and you look at some of these other videos that are in this playlist, um, this music marketing playlist, I have, I have videos giving you guys thousands of dollars of free game, teaching you how to run YouTube ads, teaching you how to run Instagram ads, teaching you how to set up Instagram story ads so that it looks really good. Go and look at some of those other videos, man, because I, <laughs> I feel like if one of y'all pop off of the stuff that I'm teaching you, y'all might reach back and maybe give me a feature or something, you know? Or I could be the artist that breaks through through the industry and, and shows cats exactly how to do this stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, man, I'm done rambling, but man, y'all keep your head up. Don't begrudge the battle. The battle is the beautiful part. The journey is the beautiful part. Even if you hate your boss, you hate your job, just keep thinking about it like, man, you know on Friday or every other Friday, you know you're going to get a check, and that check hopefully will pay your bills and help you to put a little bit into your music career, all right? Y'all be good, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn that bell notification on. I'll see y'all tomorrow, yo.